Well, that's it, Danny. You're good to go. No scratches. Thank you, Doctor. I okay. really appreciate this. It's a pleasure. Thanks. Oh, my son. Thank God. Oh. Forgive me, mother. Forgive me for putting you through so much stress. I was going through so much. Going through the darkness of hell. I'm sorry. It's okay. I love it's you. It's okay, my son. I love you too. I'm sorry. I can't get it to go now. You've just been through a horrible experience. Right now, you need a lot of rest and attention. There's no way we're going to allow you to go on your own just yet. You've not fully recovered. Mother. I've been on my own for quite some time. And there are issues pertaining to those years that I have to take care of. I tell you what. Uh, I, I promise upon my return, I will never leave again. Okay. You can go. But I must come with you. The country is another country. And you don't know anybody there. Come on, Olive. He's a big boy. Let him go. Mother, this is something I have to do alone. I'll just be gone for two weeks. And besides, the Gambia is a very peaceful country. Uh, I'll be okay. Well, okay. My name is Daniel Johnson. That was a wonderful performance last night. Thank you very much. By the way, um, I have a proposal for Cuckoo. Would you mind meeting me at my hotel, Sunset Beach? There you go. Thank you very much. All right. Nice meeting you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's all right, some other time, some other time, guys, some other time. Okay, all right.
Elijah. Welcome, welcome. Please. Would you like something to drink? No, no, no. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Let's get straight down to business. Your artist is undoubtedly the best in the country, but that's about it. I want to help her become an international star. I mean, she has potential, and I'm willing to invest in a career. I want to make an even bigger star than you or anybody else could ever imagine. What are you proposing? A movie deal. I am prepared to invest whatever is needed to get it done. Why is so much interest in her? Why her? Why not her? She's the best, and we know that. And I like working with only the best. <laughs> well, if you say so, then you must notice it doesn't come cheap. Trust me, I know. Well, you know, we need in some advance to put the logistics in place and get someone to write a decent storyline and screenplay. As far as the advance is concerned, no problem. But the storyline, I will give it to you. Here's a check for $5 million. Same here. You have a nice day. No. No, 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 Mr. Manager. Who told you to accept that check? from that man without my consent. This is a very good deal for Cuckoo. One like we've never had before. So I thought it was necessary to finalize this deal as quickly as possible, that's all. Well, you thought wrong. Look, enough of this idea. Mr. Richards is my manager, not yours. If he thinks it's a good deal for me, then it is. I will do it. Thank you. So. This is how it is now? This is how you're going to repay me? No more talking to me with respect or listening to my opinion? Today, I am broke because of the fortune I invested on you. I made you a somebody out of a nobody. After guiding your career to making you a superstar and this is how you want to repay me shut up my day shut up you didn't make me a star i made myself i'm the one with all the talent i am sick and tired of you giving everyone the impression that you made me i am sick and tired of it in fact leave my house right now and don't you ever come back Sorry about yesterday. I, I made a mistake. 
please. I, I, have pity on me. I, I have nowhere else to go. Please. Please, Kumba. So tell me, Mr. Manager, tell me more about Kumba. Is she married? Does she have any children? And why did she live Sierra Leone? Rumors is that the husband died under some mysterious circumstances and living in there reminds her of a past she desperately needs to forget. They have a child named Jennifer. He's staying with one of Kumba's friends, Aisa Tujabi, in Kanilai. Well, she doesn't want anybody to know that she has a child. But honestly, she's anything but a mother to that child. What, what do you mean? Well, she pays her school fees, but no emotional contact. In fact, in addition to his disappointment of her lifestyle, this is the main reason that her father, until his demise, did not speak to her or accept any gift from her. How often does she see this daughter? Not often. The daughter goes around with a photo of her father. She misses him dearly. Are you okay? Yes, I am. I'm fine. I hope you're not bothered with all of this. Mr. Manager, tell me more. Is she dating anybody? <laughs> not one, not two, or three, or even four. She sleeps around with the big guns in country. Those three things can improve her career. There's a guy living with her called Adeyemi, who was a very close friend to the husband. This. Adeyemi, what does he do for a living? Nothing. This guy is a bum. He just hangs around. Wherever she goes, he goes. He inherited billions from his father, but squandered it all. He invested most of it trying to make Kumba a star. But now he's broke. That's why the two are not having an affair anymore. She treats him with no regards, and sometimes he to get mad and threatens to leave the house, only to wander around the streets and come back begging. If you ask me, I will tell you that guy is a big fool, a very big. Excuse me, sir. Would you like anything else? Um, no thanks for you. Would you like something? Oh no, thank you. Right. Please, uh, bring me my bill. Manager. I think it's time I meet Kumba. Well, so. When would you like it? About 8.30 tonight. That should be okay. Thank you very much for coming. Alright, thank you.
Hello, mother. Danny, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing fine. And how are you and father doing? We're doing fine. Uh, that's great. Uh, we're worried about you. Mother, please, don't worry about me. I'm okay. Are you eating well? I'm eating well. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Please take good care of yourself. Okay, okay, I will, I will. When are you coming home? Um, I don't know yet, but I'm sure it won't be too long from now, I promise. Son, please hurry up and come home soon. I sure will. Look, I have to go now, please. Um, tell Father I said hi. I will. I love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye. I'm sure you might be wondering why I said that I wear dark glasses at night. Well, you see, it helps me see the dark side of life. But <laughs> Miami, you see, sometimes I have a very dark sense of humor. I had a minor cut about two weeks ago on my left eye. Nothing serious. Please, be seated. Do I know you from somewhere? Your face looks very familiar. I don't think so. Unlike yourself, um, I don't think I'm a very good scope for the paparazzi, so I doubt it that you know me at all. Would you like something to drink? A glass of whiskey. Double whiskey, please. Daniel Johnson. Mr. Johnson, what is your line of business? I'm in the shipping industry. My parents own the largest shipping company in Sierra Leone. Don't you think movie making is too far off your line of business? I don't think so. You see, I'm a businessman. And as far as I'm concerned, based on my research, the movie industry is a lucrative one. Provided you have a good storyline and a major star. That's where you come in. And as far as story goes, I have one that I've been dying to share with the world. So, Mr. Johnson. Please, call me Danny. Okay, Danny. Would you mind narrating the story for me? Sure. Sure. This is a story about a hard-working serious-minded young man who met with a beautiful young lady. He proposes to marry her but she refused simply because she was after name, fame and money. Later she gives in to the pressure from her father to marry. But dad, I don't want to get married. I told Karim that already. I want to make something out of my life. Day in, day out, she accuses the husband of destroying her life. He finally succeeded in messing up my life, my goals, my aspirations, and my dreams. 
Oh, the hell betrayed. Quietly, the husband suffers inside. Never says anything because he loved her. Whose story is it? Mine. I mean, I wrote it. This is the only story I've ever written, and probably the only one I'll ever write. So, what happened next? What happened next is that one day the lady realizes that she was pregnant. And there was no way on earth she was going to enter motherhood without a fight. But eventually, she gives in to the pressure and bears the child. Do it just for me. I want to see a grandchild before I die. And for a while, things were looking up. Until one day, a very close friend of the husband comes from overseas and spoiled everything. After discovering the lady's weak point, a friend uses his wealth to rekindle her desires. And slowly but surely, the family was torn apart. Sorry, let me get you another glass. No, no. I'm okay. Please excuse me. I'm not feeling well. I must leave. Strange. You see? I told you not to go and see him without me. But I should when your bag is done. Now look, you are hallucinating. How can you say that the man you met turned out to be your dead husband? I'm not crazy, Ade. Look, the things he was saying and the way he was saying them. Look, I have to go to the bed. Can I please be on to Mr. What is it? Madame, you have a visitor. I don't want to see any visitor. He says his name is Sister Danny Johnson. Oh, good morning. Sorry to just pop in on you like that. I was very disturbed the way things ended up yesterday. If I did or said anything that offended you, please accept my apology. Don't worry, you did nothing wrong. I went looking for you on set this morning. I was told you called in sick. Hope it's nothing serious. It's nothing. I just had a slight headache. Yeah, I'm sorry about last night. Don't worry. I'm glad you're not mad at me. By the way, I'll be leaving town for a couple of days. But I will see you when I come back. And um, I'd like to present you a gift for your birthday. Happy birthday.
Mom, look at that. They got me as a birthday present. Can you believe it? Isn't it nice of him? The exact same necklace I asked you to inquire about. Now yesterday you didn't have money to loan your best friend. Yet you have money to buy expensive gift for the wife. What are you doing, Kumba? I'm already bleeding and you're trying to add salt into injury. We are friends of Mr. Daniel Johnson. I mean, he's staying here in the hotel. Today is his mother's birthday. Unfortunately, we do not have a number for her. So we were wondering if you could furnish us with her, his contact details back home in Sierra Leone so we can send her some birthday greetings. I'm sorry, sir. That's against the process of my hotel. Please, this is very important. Please. I wish I could, but I just can't. Thank you anyway. My pleasure. I still can't believe it. Are you trying to say that someone who died many, many years ago is still alive? The things he was saying, the way he was saying them were too, too close to harm for me. Not to at least have my suspicions. Anyway, you'll get to meet him soon. And maybe then you'll understand better. Maybe so. Maybe so. Good day. Good I'm looking for a certain lady, Miss Aisa Tujabi. Um, I still Jabi. Can I help you? I am a very close friend of uh, Kumba's late husband, Karim. I heard that the daughter is living here with you in Kanilai. Yes, she is. Can I meet her? Sure. Jenny? Jennifer? Jennifer! so big. Look what I got for you. You're welcome. What's the matter? Don't you like me? I like you but I keep thinking that I've seen you before. But of course, you are. I was a very close friend of your dad. And I used to come to the house when you was much, much smaller. Maybe that's why I feel I know you. But this is sweet. And the way you bring to me reminds me so much of my dad. I, I tell you what. Would you like to go to the park with me tomorrow? If that's okay with you. Sure, why not? All 
right, then you go and finish your chores, all right? So, Mr. Johnson, are you happy to see your late friend's daughter? Yes. Very, very happy. I'm puzzled. You seem to be a very wealthy man. How come you can only afford a lollipop as a gift to your friend's daughter? You see, the father used to tell me fun stories about her. About how whenever he used to come from work, he'll buy a lollipop and she'll be so excited about it. What if I told you your father is still alive? What? Yes. He's sitting right in front of me. This little girl has been living with me for six years. I have never seen her so happy, never seen her smile, not even when she sees her mother. Only a father can bring out that smile from her. This too, we're real close. God, I missed her. Where have you been all this time? What took you so long? It's a long story. For now, I want you to keep this a secret between you and I. No problem. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Gone. Why? I like him so much. I can't wait to see him tomorrow. Oh, he likes you too. Very, very much indeed. Jennifer's been up since 6 o'clock anxiously waiting for you. Every 10 minutes. You don't put up here, yeah? Jenny! What's the matter, Jen? I just thought of my dad. He used to take me out for ice cream. And we used to have a lot of fun, like we are now. He reminded me a lot of him. And I really miss him. I had a picture of him once, but Kumba took it away from me. Kumba, why do you call her Kumba? Isn't she your mother? Yeah, but I don't like her. 
She doesn't care about me. She doesn't even come to see me. And when I'm at her place on holidays, she goes out the whole day and leaves me alone at home. I really miss my dad. I know if he were here, he would never abandon me. What else do you remember about your dad? He used to sing me a song. Do you know the song? Yes. Do you want me to sing it? Please, do. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. You're the sunshine in my life. You're beautiful. Since you came into my life, you took my pain away. Since you came into my life, and I know more rainy day. Daddy. Jenny, my daughter. Do you remember me? Yes, I do remember you. Me to be there also. Really? Sure. I'll see you with them. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Morning. Good day, sir. Good day. Hey, 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 what's that, my friend? What's that? Captain Water, you know I could drink alcohol. Not today, my friend. Not today. I think you have to take at least a glass. Uh uh. A glass, uh, I Come on. You know, I don't want it. Just a glass? I mean, what time can this one glass cost? And besides, you know I've just completed the biggest deal ever. So I want you, my best friend, to celebrate with me. That is, if you're happy over my success. Of course I am. Then you drink. <laughs> please now. <laughs> please, please, please. Ah, nice bubbling together. So, uh, my friend. Yes. Honest. Mm, honest. Why are you always in my house? I don't know what you're talking about. You're my friend, isn't it? Yes, yes. Uh, why do you always go to my house when you know I wouldn't be there? Uh -uh. Why do you really buy that necklace for my wife? We have spoken about that issue and finished with it. And besides, you even told me you were sorry for doubting my good intentions. I know, I know. Then what's the problem with you now? But I am not convinced. Eh? That you spend all that money to buy that necklace just because we are friends. Hmm? And so you trying to say I'm dating my best friend's wife? Uh uh. I did not say so. You, you did. I think you are drunk. I'm doing up. But you know, my father used to say, 
a man speaks his heart when he is the man. I am the one. Look, you know what? <laughs> I think I can't put up with your crap any longer. I have to leave. Um, Musa to me. You are having an affair with my wife. I have known all this while. Mm -hmm. But just because you are helping her to record the album, I, did, I didn't do anything. Just because I know how badly she wants to make it. Musa, I, I am not stupid. And from now, I don't want to see you anywhere close to my wife. You can take your record deal, your money, and your fancy gifts to hell. No, I don't think so. I think you're the one who's going to be one day. Wait, wait, wait! Get a hold of yourself, Kumba! You Get lied a... to me! You lied to me, okay? You told me he accidentally slipped off the rocks and drowned! You lied to me! Get a hold of yourself! I did it for you! Remember how you were always saying how unhappy you were? How he was hindering your progress and keeping you from achieving your dreams? But I didn't tell you to kill him. Yes, I wanted to realize my dreams, but not at the cost of his demise. For God's sake, Ade, he was my husband, my father's father. Believe it or not, I loved him. And you're telling me this now? Look, I have to go. I better not see that face of yours anymore. Goodbye. I just wanted you to be happy. I just wanted you to be happy. I'm sorry, Kay. I'm sorry I did this thing. Sorry, my friend. Sorry. <laughs> Hello. Please, I would like to speak to you. Can I come over? Sure. I want to talk to you too. Okay. I'll be there in 20 minutes. treated me or the way you neglected our daughter look Kumba I've been no grudges against you 
I know fame and fortune is what you've always wanted. And now you've got it. I'm truly happy for you, even though this happens at the expense of our happiness together. Congratulations. I made a terrible mistake. Please, take me back. I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. Hello? Hello, Jennifer. Hi, sweetheart. Yes, we're leaving tomorrow. I'll pick you up around 10 a.m. <laughs> I promise I won't be late. Bye. Where are you taking my daughter? Do you care? Do you care, Kumba? When was the last time you visited her in Kanilai? When was the last time? You attended a school meetings or school plays. When was the last time you told her you loved her? When? And you're here crying wolf? She's all I got left. I'm not gonna let you take her away from me. Then do what you must. Good night, Kumba. I don't think so, my friend. I can see it in your husband's eyes that he's still in love with you. The way he spoke about you. Hurry to the airport. Make your case. He is a good man. You think so? I know so. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Driver, faster.
I go love you, and I go hurt you, I love you, baby. Me and you not teach and tell. I go love you, and I go stop you, oh me. Me and you not teach and tell. I go love you, and I go hurt you, I love you, baby. No, 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 Mr. Manager. Who told you to accept that check on my behalf? In fact, in addition, in fact, in fact, in addition to his. <laughs> he used most of it trying to I can see it in your husband's heart that he's so in that he's still in love with you. Show me the love with them and you have to then we know about it's okay, don't worry. What am I going to do now? I've lost everything. I don't think so, my friend. Your husband Oh god. Action. Action. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. That's against the policies of my hotel. Sure. 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 <laughs> you're upset by Come on, you're What? Ah, you're upset! Come on! Come on! Arsene! Do what? Get up! Melo is taking a nap. <laughs>